How's it going, gents? Stay in the door 1944. Today we're going to be going over our American flag armband flags. So these were most famously used by the 101st Airborne jumping into Holland in 1944. However, these were being used as all the way as early as Operation Torch back in 1942. So I wanted to go and make one of the best reproductions that have ever been made of these. And to do that, a huge shout out to Mark Bando. I couldn't have done this project without him. He actually supplied me with an original flag uh, that was carried by a member of the 501st into Holland. He took it after a day or two into the invasion. He took it off his, his uh, shoulder uh, and put it in his pocket and he kept it ever since. Uh, and so what we were able to do with that is we were able to do a one-for-one -one scan from the original. So the proper star pattern, obviously it's a 48 star flag, but it's the same star size, uh, the same size of the field, the same size stripes, uh, even the, the length and width of the armband flag itself is directly taken off of that original. Uh, we even copied the whole patterns directly from the original. So one of the best aspects about this flag is actually the material that it's printed on. So we actually did a one-for-one -one match from the original. So we were using uh, the same weight of fabric, uh, which is a cotton oil cloth. Uh, so it's cotton, it's kind of got a rough uh, interior finish, but on the exterior finish it has more of a smooth finish, which is how they did the print on this actual flag itself. So it matches the original 100%. The only thing that we changed from the original is that the original was 70 plus years old whenever we copied it. And so it had quite a bit of fading that came into play. So we basically went back, we looked at original photographs, and we were basically doing our best to color match of what those flags look like whenever they were first issued. So it's going to be, you know, the standard bleach white for the for the actual white material itself, and then the blue and the red are copied directly from the original to match. More often than not, they were not using them as a traditional armband flag. They were actually taking these folding them down at the edges like that and then taking the two safety pins that they were issued with it putting them through the edges here and pinning it directly to their uniform it's providing a little bit less of a target because you're not wearing as much white on the battlefield so if you're looking for the most historically accurate armband flag for your impression either early war or for market garden this is going to be a great option for you